Well, how's everybody doing? Time for a new video. This is a rotary air compressor model MC-2A. It was built for flight lines to fill aircraft tires. Here's the original price. I bought it for $264 from Gov Planet. When I got it, the brakes were frozen, the wheel bearings weren't packed, the grease cups were gone, the torque arms for the parking brakes were in the wrong position, the brake cables were all out of adjustment. The fuel tank had about four gallons of JP8 in it, two and a half of which had turned to gel. Some genius tried to back this short trailer up, jackknifed it, and broke the drawbar. So I had to fix that, bend it straight heat it up, bend it, do some welding. I found this pretty cool caster and just welded it to the bottom of the drawbar and the compressor sits level. Up here at the handbrake is where some of the brake cables have been twisted and kind of frayed a little bit. The bottom one had been. It's hard to see in there. But I twisted it hard and uh, heated up and the plowshare steel went right back into shape. There the brake is released and now it's applied. This is a nice little probably about a 30 foot hose in the hose reel here. It's air cooled. It's driven by a single cylinder Deutz diesel engine. It has another pintle hitch so more units can be towed behind it. And here's inside the uh, compressor compartment. This filter here is the diesel fuel filter. I changed it. This filter here is the lubricating hydraulic oil for the screw compressor. I changed it. Down below, which is you can't see, was the uh, air filter for the uh, sorry the uh, oil filter for the engine. I changed it. You can see that orange gasket underneath the uh, injector there, that was leaking. That gasket, the other o-ring that was there was too small. <clears throat> so I replaced that. Ch changed the oil in both the compressor and the engine. And uh, when I got it, it ran pretty well. Kinda, I should say. It didn't didn't want to shut down when I turned it off. I kept running on and on and on. And uh, some genius had decided to put an air pressure gauge here where the oil pressure should be. And uh, the face of this uh, air pressure gauge is broken and partially gone. But everything works. And uh, since the tune-up, everything works as it should and very well I may add. So we'll start it up right now and kick her in the guts. I won't narrate because it's too it'll be too loud so turn the power switch on. It does have a glow plug. I've run it twice now before this video just to get it to run. Um, started right up. I haven't run it since October. 
I need to fix the panel lamp because uh, it doesn't illuminate this little light right here. But here we go. We're going to start that up. one of the first times that I started this up but that cast piece down there is split so I'm gonna have to remove this air water separator and see if I can weld that up but uh, you know I have it uh, tuned so that the compressor builds 150 about 155 psi and I have the output tuned to just about 100 pounds PSI. So that's it. Ingersoll Rand MC2A air compressor flight line, one each. Thanks for watching.